What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about breathing and tightness. So remaining tight is the key component to all compound lifting, an efficient transfer of force of the lower body into the upper body. But what is tightness? Where does it come from? So when it comes to squatting and deadlifting, tightness is the ability to hold and retain intra-abdominal pressure. So we breathe in through the lungs, the diaphragm lowers, compresses that abdominal cavity, that compresses our lumbar spine and allows for that efficient transfer of force. Now, there's two major mistakes I see when breathing to maintain tightness. So first thing I'll see, bar on the back, take a deep breath in, rib cage will elevate, lumbar spine will go into an increased arch, and then people will start that movement in the increased arch. That'll put a lot of shearing force through the SI joint, through the lower back. The second problem I see is the complete opposite. People just breathe. They breathe right into the belt, right into the stomach. They get that diaphragm to lower, but what they're forgetting is that we're missing the full capacity of pressure that we could be getting. So there's this idea of Boyle's Law. It's the inverse chemical relationship between uh, pressure and volume. So if pressure goes up, volume goes down, or if volume goes down, pressure goes up. And if volume goes up, pressure goes down. So think of that when we're breathing. So the series of events when we breathe, air comes in through the nose, in through the mouth, into the lungs, lungs expand, diaphragm lowers, rib cage elevates to fully allow for those lungs to expand and that diaphragm to lower. So getting into this position is not a bad thing, it's just going through the movement with that rib cage elevated, lower back extended posture that's going to be potentially damaging, but you don't want to cut the potential just by breathing into the stomach. So we've got to think, take a deep breath in rib cage elevate. Now from here, we've increased the amount of volume possible in that inner abdominal cavity, right? This is as big as it can get. So diaphragm lowers, we increase the pressure from the top down. Then before we start the movement, I want you to tuck the pelvis underneath, drive the rib cage down. Now we're decreasing the volume, gonna increase the potential pressure that we can hold in that inner abdominal cavity. So something to keep in mind next time you're breathing, for tightness under heavy loads, especially when squatting. So don't start the movement with the rib cage up, get the rib cage up, get as much air in as you can, get that diaphragm to lower, and then further compress by Boyle's Law, increasing the amount of pressure that we can hold in that inner abdominal cavity, making for that efficient transfer of force from the lower body into the bar. So think of that next time you're in the gym. We'll see you next time.